Today's lesson is population ecology. Biologists study the structure of population over time through demography. For example, how or why a small population of birds suddenly becomes a larger one. But how do we know when a population grows? Well, for one, through immigration, or new individuals moving in from another population. And the obvious number two, when new members are born through reproduction. But what about when the population is declining? Well, that could be because of a greater number of deaths or due to emigration, when individuals of a population move out. Note the difference between immigration and emigration. The probability that any organism will survive and reproduce can be summed up through a life table, where a component of it is something called survivorship, which is the age to which a number of offspring survive to. So say you have five kittens. How many will survive to age one, two, or three? Patterns of survivorship are seen in survivorship curves. Here, type one is where most organisms survive throughout their lifetime, but die off as they age. Can you think of such an organism? Type two is where at any age, the organism has the same probability of dying off, for example, songbirds. And in type three, young die off easily, but those who reach an older age survive. This is common in plants, where many seedlings don't sprout, but once they do, they survive. So having lots of kids is a good thing, right? Wrong. Say you have a mama chicken who gives birth to too many eggs. She's going to end up using all her energy and dying off earlier. This is known as a fitness trade-off, because although she's increasing population size, she's using up all the resources that could have increased her survival. This is also where fecundity becomes a factor, which is the number of female offspring produced by a female, and where age of sexual maturity is one important factor as well. Why? Because the growth the rate of a population depends on fecundity. We would expect that at high fecundity there is high survivorship, but this is not the case. High fecundity and high survivorship cannot coexist. Look at it this way. A mom cannot give birth to a thousand babies and so a higher chance of survival. And one, on the other hand, a female who doesn't invest her energy in her offspring will win. So low fecundity and high survivorship. However, there can also be a case where fecundity and survivorship is balanced. Created using Powtoon.